Wow, you clicked on this video. Thank you so much for clicking this video. I appreciate you. My name is Femi Adebile. They call me Fenjus Baba. I am a filmmaker, a content creator. I'm an actor too. This is my YouTube channel. Please do well to subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on the bell to get notified when we drop our goodies and our movies on this channel. I celebrate you. Oh. <laughs>
That one, my own luck. Pay me my money. Sorry, I, I be, be patient with me, sir. Be, I will pay. Present you when? Faster. You see the joke with me. Make I warn you. If you no one pay this money, I go throw your things away by force from this house. I mean by force. Make you go to number six and go ask them about me. Take it, you see, baby. Now I come up one how can you stay in my house? Are you not got a parent? They are church people, they don't feel contribute money for you. By the grace of God, I will pay next week. And for your information, you don't go pay me direct again. You go to pay to my agent. The agent go come. Next week, come collect the money from you. And I don't give him instruction. Any tenant who refuse to pay, I don't tell him that you go to. And that instruction, a standing order. But, sir, uh, we don't know the agent. Can I have his number? Don't worry, I will give you his number. You go come next week, come collect the money. Which the way one make you come? Um... Pass of which day and time, when you will one make you come collect the money? Saturday, Saturday. 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 Yes. Okay. The agent can come on Saturday. But if you come, make you don't disappoint me again. No, 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 no problem, sir. The law will provide. I'm here. Make him provide. Thanks for your understanding, sir. I don't understand anything. Now my money, what I want. If you come here by Saturday, that money not there ready. Hey, I got me go see your cousin to your wedding. If you don't know money now, go. If you don't know money, you need it. You say you go go. You never need it. The chef know you go come and do your own now. You 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 go now. You don't cook block. You go if you don't know money. Same Saturday, go go. You go go go. Call the night guard. Jesus, ah. where do I get the money from? Oh, do I can't run. Yes, sir. Tell me, go to the church today, my dear boss. I'm dear boss, church today, you go now. I got my good thing, you know, because you're such a winner. Oh, 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 But I still see no reason why you have to agree with them to hold a meeting in this house without waiting for my approval. I don't like it. Honey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You see, if it is done in the church, it will cut down a lot of expenses. They can't come here without being entertained. My dear, but you know that we cannot avoid something like this once in a while. But we can as well shift the meeting to the church, considering the situation on ground. No, it's late already. The information will not go round. Then, you have to do something about it. Because I don't have anything to give now. My dear, don't work yourself all. Eh? The law will provide. I trust God. The law will provide. Yes, I know. The law will provide. But whatever God provides now will be for the house rent, not, to, not for the entertainment. Remember, we have to pay the money before next week, Saturday. I understand. I understand everything. The little we have, the Lord will help us to manage it. Huh? Please relax. Hmm. Ah, what is all this now? You told this place is on hand. Ah, ah, ah. You are welcome, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> you are welcome, sir. Pastor. Ah, Bosse. Yeah. <laughs> you are welcome. Bosse, Bosse. Ah, how are you? Ah, Edda, you are welcome. Thank you. Congratulations on uh, Bosse's uh, employment. Thank you. In fact, that job is a very lucrative one. Hmm. Uh, we really thank God. Thank we God. really thank God. <laughs> you are welcome. <laughs> Have your seats. <sighs> Pastor, <laughs> it is a miracle. <sighs> I could not believe it until I saw a letter of employment. 
That was when I remembered what you told her when she lost last job. <laughs> when he thanked God, it was the Lord. We gave him the glory. Yes, but he used you. I'm encouraged and grateful for the sound doctrine and the word of God we teach in this church. Pastor, I'm very grateful, sir, for all the Lord used you to do in my life. That was why I came with my dad to say thank you, sir. Ah, what, what have I done? I didn't do anything. Is that the reason why you are now disturbing your dad? No! no. Since we are still going to meet in the church in the evening. Ah, no, 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 Pastor. She didn't disturb me at all. You have sown into the life of, this church, of these church members and my family. My God will reward you abundantly. Yes. Mm -hmm. We really thank God. We thank God. You see, I thank God for the fear of God in the life of Bose. You see, Bose, what you did before that chairman still baffles me a lot. And it is the Holy Spirit that works in you. And the word of God you fed us with, this enables us to be able to stand the heat of the temptation and to disregard the duty uh, offer of our boss. Hmm. Ah, very amazing. I like that. <laughs> you see, Pose, what a great boldness you display before that German. You told the letter, telling him that you will rather choose Jesus than to divide your body because of mere promotion. Ah. <laughs> yes, she even advised him to accept Jesus before it is too late and just walk out of the office. Oh, wow. We like that. Come on, good of you. Evil God is happy over that. Now, tell me why God will not reward you. Pastor, I'm so grateful to God, sir. You remember the last time when I came? Oh, I was so sad and I was weeping for losing my job. I, I was crying. You prayed with me. And you prophesied that God will still honor me with another better job. That is exactly what happened, Pastor. <laughs> ah, it is not me, sir. It is the promise of God for his faithful child. My pastor, <laughs> she was encouraged. When you told her to wait for this miracle. Oh, thanks very much for your spiritual fatherly role. We thank God, sir. We thank God, sir. Let's give God the glory. <laughs> we are just we are about to go. Ah, thank you. Uh, how is Mammy? She, she just went out now. Ah, uh, please uh, extend our love regards to her when she comes. Thank ah, you. Thanks very yeah. much. Thank you. God bless you. What is the matter? You look worried. Um, nothing serious. I'm just thinking. Ah, just thinking? About what? The same experience every day. I wonder when the attitude of our people will change. I don't understand you. Eda Opeola came here today together with uh, his daughter, Bosse. Ah, you mean they were here today? God honored Bosse with that job, and I'm happy for her. But why are they here? Uh, just to thank the prophet. <laughs> you? What have you done? <laughs> for prophesying to her life. Ah, that is wonderful, oh. You didn't tell them that you are just God's mouthpiece? Yes, I did. I, I wonder how. Well, that's the only way they could express their joy to thank the prophet. The way many of them used to do. How do you mean? The Lord has used her for many of our church members who have also come here to give testimony, like Edda Okuyola. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
But it has never occurred to any one of them to bring gifts for the prophets. <laughs> ah, my dear. All what they do is to come here to give thanks for our lives. But my dear, you know we've never told any one of them our needs. Do we still need to tell them? After I have preached several times on giving and receiving. Or is there any other way to say it? Maybe they are given to other people and not to us. We, we shouldn't conclude that they are not given. Let's even thank God that they are paying their tithe and offering. Are we not their spiritual leaders? Even the Bible confirms it that when God uses us to bless them spiritually, they are to bless us with material things as well. Well, maybe, maybe they don't understand this. The Lord will open their eyes to see it. Amen. Well, let me go and prepare your food. Thank you. I don't even know how best to teach my people again. Imagine the members in Pastor John's church. They are wonderful people. They've just given a brand new car to Pastor John on his 48th birthday. Yes, so oh my dear, it's amazing. I know our church will get to that stage by God's grace. Ah, but he has a great congregation, you know. Hmm. The last time he invited me to his church, he even told me that uh, his members are more than 2,000. I mean, God has really blessed him. While we are still struggling a little above 200, his church has grown very rapidly. Yes, very rapidly. Yes. Hmm. I used to wonder if there are other things that I'm yet to know about the ministry. We were ordained and sent forth together at the same time by the same man of God. But why? 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 My dear, it is the grace of God in Pastor John's life. And I believe that God will take us also there. I so much believe that. Hmm? Let me take my bag inside. Yes, you are, you are right. You are right. Oh, my sister, God bless you. Ah, ah. You are too much. Thank you very much. How's Pastor? Yes, it's about it. But are you no longer interested in the cloth again? All other pastors' wives have paid, and the time is going. I'm still interested, Ma. But I don't have such money now, Ma. Eh? Huh? 20,000 Naira? You don't have 20,000 Naira? No, don't tell me that. Have you informed Pastor? Or you want me to call him myself? Ah, no, Ma. Don't worry, Ma. I will, I will do something about it, Ma. Please do it fast. Go and tell your husband. He's one of the senior pastors, and you should not be left out. I understand, Ma. I will definitely do something, Ma. Thank you very much, Ma. Okay, thank you. 20,000 naira. Good. What type of situation is this? Where do I expect him to get 20,000? Eh? Where? Dear, what is yes. it? Nothing. Why are you talking with on the phone? It's Pastor Mrs. John. About the clothes? Yes. But we don't have the money now. She said I'm the only one left to pay. Don't worry. Don't worry. We don't have the money now. But that does not stop you from going. Yeah, I don't think I'll go. I don't think so. No, no, you have to go. You have to go. Your presence is very important. 
You see, I'm very sorry to have collected your salary to support the house rent. I know it is your yearly custom to be in uniform for, for your Thanksgiving. But... Dear, stop it. I've warned you not to be saying this again. Eh? The salary is our money. Let's thank God that we are able to use it to pay the house rent. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Thanks for your understanding. Thanks for your understanding. You're welcome. Thanks, thanks. Thanks, thanks. Hmm. Baba, it has never been easy at all. Thank you. Uh, please, before you go, bring me that Bible. It has never been easy. We are already 10 years in the ministry, but the situation has not improved at all. Pastor Larry, you need to explain to me better what is going on. Baba, I am not finding it easy in the ministry. How do you mean? The church is not growing as expected. When you prayed for us and sent us forth then, there were a lot of visions that you saw about us. And God also confirmed it to me. Yes. And God still stands by his word. He never changed. Hey, but it is getting too long, Baba. It is getting too long. When would God fulfill his promise over my life? I have labored seriously, fasting, praying, evangelizing, and doing all I think I could do. But I've been able to reap little, or let me say nothing. My congregation has not gone beyond 200 all this year. Baba, when would God fulfill all his beautiful promises? Hmm. Larry, I may not be able to say when, but I know God always fulfills his promise. And he will fulfill it only if you can stand and wait for it. Baba, I've been waiting all this while. My situation is getting worse. Financially, I am down. I don't even have enough to feed my family. Baba, I am ashamed. Hmm. You see, Pastor Larry, when God promised the Israelite Canaan land, the land that flows with meat and honey, when they were about to start their journey, God need them to pass through the wilderness in order to prepare them for the future. He exposed them to hunger and thirst. And you see, these people, they are people of covenant, you know. Hey, but Baba, our situation is getting worse day by day. Well, at times, God does test his servant in the fullness of affliction in order to prepare and equip them for the work of the ministry. And you see, you cannot escape that in the ministry, you know. Isaiah 48 10 says, I have refined you, but not as slaver. I have tested you in the fullness of affliction. Hmm, Larry. The work of the ministry is not bed of roses, you know. Suffering and affliction are part of his strategy to prepare and equip his servant for the work of the ministry. But, Baba, when we meet end, when? Some of my mates never experienced this for long. And we started this ministry together at the same time. Some of them have even gone far. Example is Pastor John. Hmm. Larry. Hey. Follow God's plan for your life. And wait patiently. 
for his promotion. Okay? For the vision is for an appointed time. Even though it tarries, wait patiently. It will surely come. Hmm. 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 Okay, Baba. And as long as you abide in Him, faithfully and patiently, He will fulfill His promise in your life. Ah. Thank you, Baba. Thank you. Ah, okay. Let me pray for you before you go. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, I pray. Divine strategy. Hmm. Suffering. Affliction. God help me. Baba said I should wait patiently. But for how long? The situation is not getting better. The tithes and offering is not enough to do anything. But Pastor John said, Is it right? Is it right? Pastor, no one loves to be, but with the wisdom of God, you can be blessed in ministry. How? Don't you pray for them? Yes, of course I do. You even said there are signs and wonders following your ministrations. You prophesy into their lives and it comes to pass. Yes, they even come to give testimony. And after such testimonies, what next? Asal. I mean, what follows after such testimonies? Nothing. They will just go back to their houses. <laughs> that is it. Very terrible. Very terrible. You see, once they don't encourage the prophet, how will he be inspired to go to God to receive for them? There must be the prophet's offering. Huh? <laughs> prophet offering? My people don't know more than Titan offering. Because you indulge them. You indulge them. You see, since the time of Jesus, our people have been very unreasonable. How? <laughs> now, the ten lepers that were healed went away without any form of appreciation or prophet's offering. But only one of them came to thank him. Even that one that came back did not bring any prophet's offering. And Jesus was very sad about it. And since then, the principles have changed. Which principles? <laughs> My brother, financial principles in ministry. It is very simple. Listen, you just have to follow the scriptures and lay down the principles. No prophet offering, no prayer for deliverance. No giving, no receiving. Once they understand that, they will be ready for action. You mean you've done that before? <laughs> You make me laugh. How do you think I was able to build a big church of Ethereum within a year? Building to completion. How do you think I was able to make all my numerous travels overseas? How do you think I'm able to pay the special workers in the church 
who make the services more appealing and attractive, like the instrumentalist. What do you think I was able to do all this? Is that so? <laughs> My brother, the gospel needs man. And we must be ready to task these people, otherwise the church won't grow. And let me tell you, there are so many other things that you can do to help their faith. But in actual sense, you need their money. Like what? <laughs> For example, now, let me tell you this. If you can travel to Israel, you can sell anything. I mean, absolutely anything from Israel. And our people will be ready to buy. Name the amount at any cost, even the sand and the stones from the land of Israel are able to perform miracles depending on how you're able to play your game and move them into action. Ah! <laughs> Let me tell you this. Ministry work is not for lazy people. You can't just sit down and be praying and fasting all day. See, you got to be smart and wise. I mean, godly wisdom. And before you know it, you will have captured their hearts. Is that so? Even if they don't experience any breakthrough, they will still follow you sheepishly. They will still believe you and follow you. Let me tell you, our people are more interested in what they can see and touch more than the word of God that they can only read without touching. Ah, this is serious. Hmm. Let me blow your mind again. You see, the sand and the stone from Israel, especially the oil from Jerusalem, is much more precious to them than the word which God himself has spoken. So, if you lay emphasis on this more than the precious word of God, they will just be following you sheepishly, even when they are still in their bondages. <sighs> Pastor John, is this the will of God? <laughs> My brother, it is wisdom. Hmm? It is wisdom. You see, a reverend friend of mine introduced me to this years ago when we first started ministry. Is that so? Yeah. Hmm. You see, it was so hard for me then. I went to him and explained everything and God used him for me. He took me to Israel and that was how I hit my breakthrough. And brother, once you are blessed in ministry, it is also for the progress of the kingdom. Yes, yes. It is true, it is true, it is true. <laughs> so, that is it. Once you are ready, huh? just give me a call. We can start by organizing some programs together and then some other things will follow. Okay, thank you, Pastor John. You're welcome. Thank you. Will I be able to do this? And Baba said I should wait patiently for God's divine plan for my life. For how long will I wait? For how long will I wait? Uh, uh, dear, you are not sleeping. What is the matter? Nothing. Just thinking. Thinking? Oh. I think I have to make up my mind. I have to make up my mind.
What is all this? Ah, rubbish. Are you no longer interested in the work? Who are you? Why do you ask me such questions? I have been here watching ever since you started working on this field. I don't think so. I have been here all alone on the field. I didn't see anybody. You are not alone. You only feel you are. I still ask you, are you still interested in this work? I'm, I'm interested, but I'm getting tired. The work is too boring. I want to have a break. And what happens to your field? I, I won't go far. I'm still here. I just want to have a, a rest and... Larry, you are still in the first stage of your ministry and you want to take a break. You are getting close to the very last phase of this stage. You will soon move to the next stage, the next level. Look in the distance. Who are those people? They have so many. Your people, they are waiting for you in the next level. God has prepared many of them to assist you in this assignment. But you must pass through this stage where you will be tested and proven before you are qualified for the next level. But why? Why? It is a higher calling with special anointing from God. At this stage, you will be tested and proven at times with suffering and affliction as I did with the Israelites in the wilderness. They were faced with hunger and thirst in order to teach them that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. But why is it that my time of training is so long? It is because of the assignment that you are called. Remember, the greater the building, the deeper the foundation. My son, you will do great work for me. Sir, some never experienced this. They never passed through this at time. There is no shortcut. Whoever I must use must pass through his or her own period of training and preparation. But some do jump the fence because they could not wait for their time as you are prepared to do now. They have turned the work and the anointing which I gave them into merchandise. And they have turned my father's house into the den of robbers. My boy, I see all this. I'm sorry, Lord. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. For such, if they fail to repent from their ways, they will end up in sorrow and confusion. Such people will not tarry in my presence. But as for you, stand 
and be faithful. My thought for you is in Isaiah 48, verses 16 to 19. I'm sorry, Lord. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What is it? Yeah? My dear, what is it now? Come to me now, what is it? Hmm. Baba, I felt so ashamed before the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It's a merciful God. That vision is a great one. I, I, I have thrown away the weapon. Jesus, have mercy on me. Pastor Larry, he has forgiven you. That was why he told you to stand. Mm. Ah, thank you, Baba. Thank you. Ah, I was moved to tears when he said that many, many have turned his work and anointing into merchandise. Hmm. Is it not true? Eh? Is it not true? Ah, Baba, his face changed. His countenance was changed. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Exactly the way he changed. When he saw them in the temple, selling and buying. In anger, he drove them away from the temple, saying, It is written, My house shall be called the house of prayer, but you have made it the den of thieves. His anger is still against such children of his, and the only way is to repent to escape the wrath of God. Ah, I have gone so far, but his mercy drew me back. <laughs> to God be the glory. But why didn't you bring your wife? Hope she's aware of all this. Yes, Baba. I actually told her the vision. And we decided together to come and see you first. Mm, you, should, you should have brought her with you in such a time like this. See, you must have the same spirit of understanding. Well, you have to pass everything we have discussed here to her when you get home. Yes, yes, sir. I will also advise both of you to separate time to wait upon the Lord in fasting and prayer for renewal of strength. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 32, 31 he said even the youth shall faint and be weary and the young men shall utterly fall but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings as eagle they shall run and not be weary they shall walk and not faint. Thank you, sir. Whenever you noticed your spirit is weak, it is time to separate yourself, leave all activities, 
and go to his presence for strength. Or oh, else, one will be carried away with activities while the spirit is dying. And that is the point the enemy is waiting for to strike. Hmm. Thank you, sir. So you will have to call your wife because you are not going back tonight. You are staying with me. So we shall have time to pray together. Okay? Thank you, Lord. Ah, Pastor Larry, how are you? Please sit down. Ah, 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 it's been a long time. I didn't hear anything from you again about what we discussed the last time. Huh? And uh, how is your wife? She's fine, Pastor. We thank God. I learned that she didn't put on the uniform like the other pastor's wife. Huh? Why? But the program is over now, Pastor John. I know, Pastor Larry. You see, always try your best to satisfy this woman. Huh? But she was not the only one that didn't wear the uniform. Besides, if I had the money, I would have given it to her. I understand, Pastor Larry. I understand. You see, I know your situation will soon turn out for the better. Huh? Women are very necessary in the ministry. And we must try our best to satisfy them and make them happy. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. Especially our first ladies. You know, they are the ones the women look up to in the church. And they are the salt of the church. Hmm. This is interesting. Yeah. So what about what we discussed the other time? The crusade that you are to organize and then the traveling. That is why I have come to see you. So, what's up? Hmm. Pastor John, I saw Jesus. Really? How? And when? Jesus warned me against it. He is not happy at the general situation of some of his ministers. He is not happy. He is sad. What exactly do you mean? Jesus is sad about how some of his children who have been anointed for the sake of his work and for salvation and deliverance of people are turning the same anointing into merchandise because of their personal gain. I mean, he is sad. <laughs> but the gospel needs money and whatever we get from the people is for the progress of the work. But not when it is done against his word. Remember, he drove those who were buying and selling in the temple out. He was angry with them because they have turned his father's house to a marketplace. <laughs> Pastor Larry, our people need to be moved to do the right thing. Just look at yourself. Look at yourself. We started the ministry at the same time and you cannot deny the fact that God is helping me. Uh -uh. There are evidences of his blessings over my life and church. <laughs> Pastor, I may not have physical blessings to show for God's faithfulness now. But spiritually, my people are blessed in the Lord. Pastor Larry, let me tell you something. Our people need more than the spiritual philosophy you are talking about. You need the physical blessings of life to convince them. No wonder your church is not growing. Pastor, I need more than physical things. I need Jesus' approval in my ministry. Look, if Jesus does not approve what you are doing now, then you are missing me. Ah, what, what, what do you mean? Pastor John, you need to turn away from all this. Repent 
because Jesus the Master is not happy. Don't ever wait before he fails you out with his rod of correction. Ah, ah. What brought about all these curses you are heaping on my head? <sighs> Pastor, I'm not cursing you. I'm fully led by the Holy Spirit to warn you and to desist from all this and go back to your first love. Pastor Larry, can you please leave my office now? I'm only trying to help you. Eh? And we are not in the same rank and you know it. I know we are not in the same rank. I'm very sorry if I have offended you. But Pastor Larry, please leave my office now. Leave my office, please. That's Son, the, that's the one. Uh, Baba, I really thank God for his presence since I had that vision. I always imagine him around me. No matter what happens, I know he seeks all and that gives me joy and peace. That is it. The presence of the Lord is enough for you, Pastor Larry. And I, I'm happy to hear this from you. Uh, I don't have enough words to explain the peace we have in our home, especially my wife on the issue of uh, the fruit of the womb. She worried a lot before. Hmm. Yes, I know. But she will still have her own child. Yes, sir. We have that confidence now that he sees that one too. He knows the situation we are passing through. And that is enough joy for our souls. Pastor Larry, the Lord speaks about your seed and offspring in the scripture he gave to you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The seed includes the biological children and your spiritual children. And he said they are waiting for you. Yes, you are right, sir. That is it. It means your patience is not only for your ministry progress and expansion, but also your own personal life. And it also said, your children are waiting. Hallelujah. It is a matter of time. With faith and patience, you will inherit the promise. Just follow him. Amen. That is the word, Baba. Before this time, we were waiting with anxiety and fear. But now, we are waiting with confidence and faith. And strong peace in our hearts. That is good. Yes, sir. We are now ready for anything he has for our life and ministry. The sorrow and burden of our lives are gone. Thank God. That is the level God wants all his children to attain. That is, to enter into his rest. Ah, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Extend my greetings to your wife. I just called to know your welfare when I didn't hear from you. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. It is the work of the ministry. The vision is getting clearer and sharper now. And there are so many things that we desire to do in the church that need serious waiting upon the law for. Oh. Thank God. That is good. The Lord will strengthen you. Amen, sir. Amen, sir. I'm very grateful. Bye-bye, sir. Okay. <sighs> Ah. 
what I'm still saying is this. You did not respect me before the workers in church today. And I don't think I deserve such treatment. But I was simply making a point, which you deliberately ignored. Tolani, Tolani, what is all this nonsense? Eh? What has come over you these days? Eh? What has come over you? I need to ask you that question. Ah. You want to drag me on the floor before my workers and you expect me to keep quiet and be watching you? No way. Can you now see you have a problem? Women? Big problem. Watch your tongue. Then how can you accuse me of that? Eh? With all my effort to help you in the ministry. Do I need to beg you before you do what you are supposed to do for me? I might not try my best. I might not try my best for God's sake. Can you compare yourself with other pastors' wives? I might not try my best. Drop that. Come here. Come here. Come here. What do you think you are doing? I'm talking. You are walking away. What? What? What, what is your problem? Huh? What is your problem? Tolani, you pushed me. You will regret this action of course. You can do nothing. Whatever you do for me in this ministry is my right. I work for it. I work for it. I deserve it. Hmm. Oh. It's a pity. It's really a pity. There are so many things you don't understand. What is it that, that I don't understand, man of God? What is it? Tell me. Tolani. Is it compulsory you travel outside this country to do your shopping? Eh? More so that you know that we are preparing for the convention and we have invited foreign ministers for this convention. Eh, Tolani? You can buy these goods here in the country. I know they're in the country before I decided to travel out. And let me tell you, if you don't release the money and I travel, don't even expect me at the convention. You? Yes. Yeah. You won't come for the convention or what are you saying? You have me right. You have me right. <laughs> Tolani, come back. Please. I don't know. Do you know that this money is the sweat of committed members in the church? Eh? And we have to be careful the way we spend it. Okay. Suit yourself. Just do what you think is right. But you know you can't change my mind. If I travel and you refuse to give me this money, don't expect me at the convention period. Instance. Why is it that this woman is always wanting to have her ways? Ah! Oh my God. Ah, 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 ah. Edda. <laughs> Edda, My Edda. Pastor, pastor. Edda, Edda. My pastor. Ah, ah. You are welcome. Thank you, sir. How are you, sir? Fine, Edda. <laughs> God bless you, sir. You are welcome. Thank you very much. Ah, 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 ah. Thank you, sir. Have your seat. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Ah, ah. Yeah, My you came, pastor. you came also early today. Ah, yes. It's the elder that gave uh, me a ride uh, over. Help <laughs> <laughs> me to thank you. <laughs> uh, my pastor, don't mind mommy. She didn't want to enter my car initially. She still wanted to wait for a taxi until I insisted that I would take her home. <laughs> That's mom for you. <laughs> Well, we thank you very much, Edda. Thank you very much. How's your wife? 
fine, fine. I didn't see her in the church. I only saw the children. Uh, she traveled briefly. Her parents sent for her. Right. Well, urgent matter at home we in their family. We thank God. We but thank she's God. back now. Oh, she's back now. We thank God. We thank God. Yeah, please get something for Ah, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Don't trouble mommy. <laughs> Don't trouble her. Um, I'm okay with water. Ah, okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm coming. Thank you. My pastor. You are welcome. <laughs> uh, hey. Pastor, last Sunday was another thing. Ah, what was that, Edda? Ah, your message now. It was as if we have never had such before. <laughs> I was greatly challenged. And uh, I have to check my life over and over again. <laughs> ah. Well, we, we thank God, Edda. We give God the glory. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Thank we you. give God the glory, Edda. <laughs> I called my wife to share with her on phone. And now, we pray to God. To show us the area he wants us to be useful in his vineyard. Ah, hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. That's wonderful. <laughs> Answer. Whatever God lays in your heart for us, we too want to be involved in God's service. Okay. Hey, do you know? I intentionally offer for me that lift so that I will be here. To share this testimony with you. <laughs> and, God bless you, sir. Hey. We thank God. We thank God. <laughs> thank you very much. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Hey, God much. bless you, sir. <laughs> thank you very thank much. Thank you. Um, we shall meet in the church on Wednesday. Uh, I hope you will be there. Ah uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> you are your joke. <laughs> hey. Mommy. You will not mind how little <laughs> it is. <laughs> ah, hell ah, yeah. Thank you. Ah, <laughs> thank you. My pastor. Thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much. All right, ma. Thank ah, you. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for your testimony. Ah, thank you very much. Hmm. <laughs> well done. Okay. Hey, dear, see what is going on. Oh. Hey. I've just received a call from the youth leader saying that they are going for prison evangelism on their home. Mm -hmm. This is wonderful. Yes. Mm. New things are happening now in the church. Mm. And the people are catching the fire. They are catching this fire. Mm. I even heard that the men and the women leaders are coming to see us. Eh? What for? They said some of your messages you're preaching in the church should be recorded in the audio and video CD. And they are planning seriously to set up a production outfit in the church. Hey. Is, is it not a wonderful idea? Ah, ah. Ah, ah. Hey. Ah, ah. Hey. What is happening? I don't understand, though. Ah, ah. Ah. My people who always find it difficult to give to God. Now begging me to allow them to do things for the Lord. Ah, this is wonderful, my, my, my dear. <laughs> ah, a production outfit? Ah. I was surprised when I was told. But allow them to do what the Lord has laid in their hearts. Ah, why not? I must allow them. Don't you know that it is God that is working now? Yes. Ah. <laughs> Do you know what it involves to set up a production outfit in the church? Are you surprised? Ah, I'm surprised now. Ah. <laughs> this is great. I'm, I'm surprised, my dear. <laughs> God is blessing our people. And I think the major reason is because they are fed spiritually now. Hmm. So it will be easy for God 
to walk through them. Hmm. Do you realize that your messages these days is powerful that everybody wants to be under your ministration, including the children's teachers? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Ah, you are right. You are right. You are right. You have hit the nail on the head. Baba used to tell we pastor that uh, when people are fed spiritually, they will be moved by God to do greater things for him. You are right. This is wonderful. Do you know that you two you have changed these days? Ah. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> you have changed, my dear. Uh, maybe because of your serious spiritual preparation these days. <laughs> or maybe because I have seen the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, maybe because you have seen the Lord. Yes. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Let me take the cover inside. Thank you very much. <laughs> this is wonderful. <laughs> thank you.